Okay, okay. Let's make sure this is <clears throat> everything is working here. Let's see here. Okay, let's see if there's anybody out there who can hear me. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sunny from Seattle here from Online Sales Funnel Academy. And in this video today, I wanted to provide a live training for anybody who's interested on how to um, create images for their marketing using Canva, which is a free program. Let's see. Can anybody hear me? Let's see. Let me make sure I'm live over on the on my YouTube channel real quick. Let me see. Home. Videos. That's my jam. And nobody is on the chat yet. Okay. Hey, okay, so that part's working. I'm live. Okay, just want to make sure. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I know a bunch of people will probably be jumping on later on. So <clears throat> for now, um, now I just want to start at the beginning. The reason I wanted to make this training is because I know that when I was starting out as a marketer and I would always see people who had these really beautiful pictures on their marketing. And I always thought, oh my gosh, where are they getting these pictures? Because I'm pretty good with words, but I wasn't always good with images, if you know what I mean. I'm not a natural, necessarily a photographer, things like that. And so when I see pictures, um, let's just go to Facebook for a second. Let's just see what we're talking about. When I go to Facebook and this is the newsfeed here, right? And I see, you know, one of the things you want to do when you're like, this is a great example, Jason Nyback fan. Okay. One thing you want to look for when you're doing, um, especially interruption marketing on Facebook is you always want to try and find, <coughs> excuse me, images that are bright and they grab your attention, right? They, they may not necessarily have to be congruent with your ad, but you definitely want to make sure that they're bright, they're unoffensive, and that people are going to want to, their eye is going to want to gravitate towards the photo. So in order for us to be successful with that, a few things have to happen. And, and actually, I'm really glad that I found this one right out of the gate, because if you'll notice, do you see how this is off center? It's a little bit off to the right. That's also a technique that's used um, in the this person, I'm sure, did that on purpose. Um, now, this is funny. This is a before and after photo of just a just sharing just a regular, you know, posted update with, you know, friends and family. But let's see if we can find some professional marketers. Oh, here's a great one. Is it possible to get coaching clients without spending money on leads, ads, or complicated funnels? So here, um, studies have shown that pictures of beautiful and laughing women and children. So this is what we call a lifestyle picture, a lifestyle post. Um, you know, any any anytime you can get your customer into a potential future state, emotional state that you're trying to get them to, like after they purchase the product. Um, that's what this picture here is implying, um, that she's getting leads, she's happy, she has a great family. These are little psychological triggers that we're going to be looking for. Um, okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> now, if you guys might see, I'm a, I'm a bowler, so I have a lot of bowling videos in my timeline here. But let's just keep looking here and see if we can find any professional marketing. Okay, now this guy is a PhD. Um, he is doing a direct um, video. Show me a product that can deliver more value to you 
right? And you can learn more. So video ads are killing it right now on Facebook. But in this training right now, I just want to focus specifically on image ads because, oh, what was that? That was a good one. Let's see. Okay, so this is funny. A friend of mine's timeline, uh, this, it's like a little uh, video. Um, that's why GIFs are are so popular because they're one half a stock image and one half of a video, right? They're right in the middle, like GIFs and Giphy, if you've ever seen that. And let's see if we can, I've got a lot of videos in my timeline. That Facebook knows I like videos, but you can still do very well with the, there's Becker. You can do very well with just a regular um, stock. Okay, now this is great. Uh, I'm from Alaska. Alaska, where school can be canceled because of warm weather. This is hilarious. It says it all in here. Now, this one, they're not really trying to. Um, this one is what we call an engagement ad. They're getting comments, likes, and shares on this one, which is great social proof for their page. But they're definitely not trying to give anything away here. Um, it would say right down here, it would say you'll learn more. Or if it was a boosted post, there's more bowling. Um, let me find one where... Okay, what's this guy doing? Get more web design clients by selling this first. Okay, so he's doing a video. Um, but let me get down video, video. Video's hot right now on Facebook. Facebook is um, rewarding people, <laughs> cat videos. Um, but they're, like I said, images can do very, very well um, in your timeline still. If you, it, they're really great at grabbing attention. So, let me see if I can. Um, now, the first thing you want to know about images is that um, I'm going to just go over to Pixabay right now. So images, you want to make sure that you're either using your own images or that you have permission to use somebody's images before you just grab one and throw it up there. I think probably all of us as a newbie marketer, I know I was guilty of it. Um, I didn't know any better and I just did a Google search for a piece of fruit or something and I threw it up there for my first ad. I was trying to do a fitness thing. And, you know, what happens is, is your, that particular, um, you may not know this, but when a photo gets uploaded onto the internet, it's got code in, in, in the backside of it and like digital electronic code. And what'll happen is the real owners, um, data is sitting on the back side of that photo and if you don't know that and you go to upload it to youtube or a different i mean a different platform um these platforms can tell whether or not you've bootlegged that photo so you want to be really careful because not only will the platform shut you down um, then you could get into copyright entanglements with the original owners so to get around that there's a couple different ways that that were and i've been very happy and very successful with this method with my marketing is I'm using what we call royalty-free stock images. And Pixabay is one of the um, biggest, best, and uh, largest. Now, they do have, um, I believe they might be in accordance with some sort of paid option, but there's this huge free option that I have. I use it all the time. And it just shows you all sorts of photos. Now, I'm going to show you how to take a photo. We're going to bring it over to a different platform called Canva. Right. And then I'm going to show you how to crop this and make a really great image for a marketing campaign. There's a lot of little squirrels in here. So we'll, we'll see what we end. I don't have anything planned. So we'll see what we end up making. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to go to pixdebay.com. And when you first now, obviously, I already have a, an account here, set up here. It's free to set it up. It just takes like three minutes. Go in, set it up. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to go to explore and you have your choice between images and videos okay and I picked images and now let's just say that my very first um, oh my gosh let's say that my first ad that I'm gonna do on Facebook um, has to do with food and I'm trying to do get people to drive engagement to a food ad of some sort so I'm gonna type in the word here um, vegetable and I'm just gonna see what comes up I could also do fruit or something like that um, the first thing you want to notice about this is everything across the top here. If you look real close, it says Shutterstock. Those are paid images. Those are not uh, royalty free. Those are with ro like royalty. They want you to pay ahead of time for them. And those can be expensive. So 
but some of them um, might be better quality. Depends on what you're looking for. I have found just playing around in the free section, I've done very well with my ads. Um, I've been able to tailor them for what I need. And, and I'll show you how I do it right here. Now, let's say I'm, I'm writing or I'm going to do an ad on Facebook and I want to do, um, I said vegetables. You see, it's throwing in some other things here. Uh, I'm not really sure why it's doing that. <laughs> Somebody mislabeled their own photo. Um, let's see. So this, oh, oh, this is a great one. Anytime you have an option right here to put something in the middle, um, that's, we'll do, we'll come back to that and I'll do that one in the next one. Okay, so we're going to do a couple different kinds here. So the first one I want to do right here, let me just check on this real quick. Okay. Um, Pixabay. Okay, the first one I'm going to do right here is a steak and asparagus, right? And what you do is you come over, you click on it, and you say, this is the person who did it. And you can do free download. And I'm going to pick like a medium size type file. And I'm going to click download. And you want to check because it's got the file name. It's called asparagus right? And what we're going to do is we're going to go back real quick. I'm going to go ahead and download the other one that we just saw. Asparagus. No, I'll come back to that. Okay. Now we have our image. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to www.canva.com. And again, I already have an account here. This is free to use. It does have um, purchases available on the back, but most of it's free. I do all my stuff in here for my videos. I mean, for my um, pictures. So let's just say the first one we want to do is a an ad image for Facebook. And I want to, if you hover over all these suggested sizes, they'll tell you what the pixel size is right there, the width by height. So a lot, I use a lot of them. For this right here so let's click it it's gonna bring me in to like a blank slate over here on the right and then the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go to uploads and we're gonna upload you can see i've been messing around there my download was asparagus right of the download and i want asparagus there it is double click Okay, it's going to import. You'll see me in my bowling pin. <laughs> oh, never gets old. I've been bowling for over 40 years. So, so okay, I'm going to click on this image. It's going to bring in the fruit or, or the vegetables and the asparagus or meat or whatever this is, this, you know. And, and so what, there's a couple different things that you can do with this. Now, the first thing I want to show you how to do is just quite simply how to put it on here and create the image, <clears throat> like without without changing it at all. This, if when you grab the corners here, it makes it bigger, or smaller. It's not, it's not a cropping feature. It just makes, it keeps the, all the pixels the same uh, size, excuse me, as you expand your photo. And I think this is where a lot of people go wrong is they don't understand that. Um, I know I did in the very beginning. I had a real big bad habit of, of expanding out the wrong direction with my photos. <clears throat> now, let's say I want to. Now, I'm a huge fan of just putting borders around everything. So if you come over here to the search box and you type in the word square, I'm going to show you one of my shortcuts. You'll see lots of squares. And I'll tell you right here if it's free or not free, right? Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is we scroll down about 15 blocks or so. Where are you? Right here. This one right here where it says free and it's got a white border. You want to select that. And what you want to do here is you, it's hard to see right here, but you can change the color, right? And what you can do, and right here, this gives you the palette. So you can, and what's cool is it also gives you the, the actual color here. So if you're trying to color match something from a different campaign, then you can do that right here. Now, food items, typically we like to, uh, the, the human eye likes things to be green and lush, right? If you're trying to advertise green, I mean food. So you want to put that um, or blue maybe, but you want to stay away from like, you know, brown, you know, the dark colors that would make you think of rotting food. So you want to put a little border around it like this. Now that may not pop out enough for me. So I'm going to do another one. 
and there's a couple different ways you can do this one let's try this one you can put it on the inside of the other one and you can either put it right on the overlay like this let's see let's try that so again i'm gonna change the color let's try black Ooh, there we go now we're cooking literally so that looks better, right? And now let's say, um, so this might just be like my first image, right? And let's, if I had a food ad that I was trying to promote, you know, right here, you would, you would title your design. You'd say, you know, Facebook ad image number one. And you might put your dimensions if you still have them, you know, 1200 by whatever that was when we first started. Then you're going to download, and your choice here is a JPEG, a PNG, or a PDF. This is not a PDF training we're going to do later. That's not what we're doing here today. Um, you, I usually do PNG, and you can do download. And so now it's going to download it to your computer so that uh, when you go into your Facebook account, you can – it's ready to tweet. Okay, so we saved it as Facebook ad image number one. Now – I'm going to jump into the back of my Facebook account um, and I am going to show you what it looks like when, when you bring it in to an ad account. Business manager, bring it in here. Let me get back here. So let's say I was going to do a brand new, I'm going to just pick one of my brands that I work on here. And I'm just going to say new campaign. Okay, hold on. It's thinking. Um, so, okay, I'll just do Canva. So, this is me just running through a I'm going to do a different training on how to set up a Facebook ad if you don't know what I'm doing here. But I just want to show you the part where we get to where we actually upload the photo into this so you can see what it looks like. Sure, why not? We'll do a traffic campaign because we're not really going to launch this right now, but I'm just showing you what it looks like. Okay. Um, add identity. Skip ahead. Yes, it's only women. Let's just skip to the back here. I'm trying to get to the end here. I'm trying to get to the good stuff. Okay, right here we're going to do, let me make sure I switch this over, Online Sales Funnel Academy. Oops, there we go. And it's going to be a single image ad that we're doing. Nope, get rid of that. And then, then right here, you're going to go upload image. Remember, we saved it as Facebook ad image over here. So you're going to upload. You go to the downloads. It's right there. Now, if you see right here, it says recommended image size 1200 by 628. Now, i got to write that down for a second because I didn't have that. Okay, now. You see here, um, this is what the ad is going to look like on the different platforms. This one is mobile news feed. This one is desktop. I always start with desktop. So as you can see, it chopped off the top of our of our image here. But now it's giving us the opportunity to crop the image. Let's see if we can. Okay, see, so it's already got the dimensions. And that's because I didn't do 1200 by 628. So what we can do is we can do one of two things. We can just move this around till we get what we like. And you can look at the preview right here to see if we like it. You know, and that's actually not too bad either. It just depends on what, we're, what you want out of your ad here. If you're just trying to get people enticed to look, you know, food is very attractive. That makes me hungry. So if you're giving away like a free cookbook or a, a link, an ad of some sort, right, you would see how nice that looks on there. 
and yeah, let's look, see what it looks like on the other platform. So mobile newsfeed, right? Nice, bright popping image, right? You've got on their phone, it still looks good. You can see almost the whole thing on the phone. You on the desktop, we already looked at looks like this on instant articles, which is just a different dimension of uh, Facebook ads. Desktop right column, it looks like this. And on Instagram, it looks like this. So real nice display on Instagram. So if you don't know, Facebook owns Instagram and you can market to them from here. Audience network, right? So the, so the photos are coming out really nice um, in, in all directions. So I'm going to leave this fake ad open for a second. We're going to do another one. And I'm going to see real quick if anybody is hopped on. Nope. Okay. Not yet. So that's this first one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start over. I'm going to just go back to Canva. And I'm going to actually use the dimensions this time that they recommended. It's use custom dimensions. And we're going to do 1200 space or tab by 628. We're going to do create, and this is their this is the recommended dimensions from Facebook. Now, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go back over to Pixabay real quick here, and I'm going to find a different one. Um, I'm going to show you some other techniques that we we can do for photo. So let's see. So I think this one we're going to do. Where is the one with the sign? Where'd that go? Where did it go? Okay. Vegetables. I'm not sure how that disappeared on us, but and these are cute. You can get graphics also. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, I want to show you guys this one for a second. Um, do you see how there's kind of like, you know, the, there's kind of a lot going on here. And it's great because this photo has a lot of different, it's got soup and then it's got raw product and then it's got some stocky image. I'm going to download this one. I want to show you what I can do with this as a marketer. Um, so again, I'm going to choose the medium size. It's 1280 by 960. Nope, but that's not a big deal. We can, it's called soup. This is why I know what it's called. I'm going to go back over to my open one. I'm going to go to upload, upload my image, and go to download. And I'm looking for soup. There it is. It's got to come in here for a second. Boom. Okay, there's my soup. <clears throat> so what's cool about this is that um, sometimes I, depending on what I'm doing, um, what type of ad I'm running, I, sometimes I, may, I challenge myself you know, maybe your ad, you only want part of this, like part of this to be your entire photo, right? So you can crop this down, right? So you can like, let's say you only want me there. I touched the crop feature. Maybe you only want this, right? And maybe get a little bit more broccoli in there. And maybe you don't want the soup bowl for some reason. You can crop that. What's great is it just like before, it keeps the same dimensions between the, uh, as you make your pictures bigger or smaller, it completely changes what you're looking at, doesn't it? So it gives you a completely different feel. And so one thing to consider then, like I tell people is <clears throat> when I'm training them on this, is to really kind of have an idea of what you might want to do, but just know that there are seven different ways you can go with your photo. So one photo could could you could realistically get if you only cropped up each corner one two three four and maybe a fifth one in the middle and then a whole picture that's like six different photos that you could repurpose off of the same one right so let's say let's just for instance let's just try this i'm going to use this crop i'm going to use this square as always um now i'm going to show you some a different way to use the square to do a border. Um, this is funny. You can move all these sides of this. So what I can do is actually create a line. This, I don't think this is what it's designed for, but I found out I like doing this a lot. It works really well for me in my marketing. So we can do something like this. 
Yeah, that's a little, the contrast is too weird. I don't like it. So I'm going to fix this. Mm, maybe gray, maybe. That's ah, a double, double. <clears throat> green, what goes with green? Now, if you're trying to figure out what goes with green and yellow, go to your palette. Don't reinvent the wheel. Okay, so the colors that are closest uh, to green and yellow might be the ones that are going to be complementary. The ones that are across from green and yellow are going to be the colors that are the contrast. So just go across the wheel 180 degrees. So I'm going to copy this, right? I'm going to put this here and here. And maybe I want to, maybe I don't want to put a border on the left and the right for some reason, but maybe I want to put, um, now I want to put a like a small text overlay. Now I'm getting ninja. I'm advancing, showing you something new. I haven't shown you yet. Um, I, what I did was I picked the square and I set it on the right and I'm going to arrange it to the back um, just twice. So just enough so that it's under the border, but in front of this and I can actually move this over. Right. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. So right here, maybe, and maybe I don't want this to be maroon, but I want it to be attention getting. So maybe I want, I don't like that. Not like that. Maybe I can do maybe something like this, maybe. And then I'm going to do text and I'm going to say, um, now remember this is Facebook and they don't like your ad being more than 20% um, text. They're getting better, but not, you know, Maybe you're giving away a free ebook. Um, free ebook, right? And then right here, I can change the font. I like aileron, whatever it's called, heavy. And then you can change your font size here. You bring this right here. And maybe you want a dash here. I'm not sure. Free ebook. And let's see. Maybe bold. And that is too big. So I'm going to just kind of tighten this up a little bit. And one thing to remember is when you put it into the news, into Facebook, they like to scrunch it down. So try to stay away from the right hand side, kind of bring it in towards the middle a little bit. And you may or may not want to, um, you can do a line down here for decoration. So it's free. I'm going to click on it. There's my line. I'm going to bring it over here. And I'm just going to shrink it up a little bit like this. And then that looks weird. Okay. Center it up. Okay. And there we go. Okay. I'm going to do free ebook and I'm going to download and I'm going to save it as a PNG and download it. And we'll see what it looks like when we upload it to the platform. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to go back into my Facebook somewhere. And I'm going to switch images and see what it looks like. I'm going to upload an image. And it's called free e-book. Come on, download. Right there. Okay, so now it's bringing in the 1200 by 628. We use the exact requirements that it wanted. So let's see how it looks. So it's right here. To maximize ad delivery, use an image that contains little or no overlaid text. Now, the, the, the computers at Facebook, they already know whether or not you have text in here. So even if you've embedded it in an image and brought it over, so they already know. They, their computers can tell. <laughs> so don't try and trick them because they'll catch you. But this is okay, because this is not too much. But let's say, um, okay, I always start with, like I said, I always start with desktop newsfeed. And if you wanted to look at the ad, you can hit preview and send notification to Facebook. Right, which means if I go back to Facebook now, it would show me what this is gonna look like in my newsfeed. We've got it's populating here. Come on. It's in here somewhere. It'll just show up in my news feed. It might take a second. 
Oops. Okay, hold on. Phew. Facebook. Okay, here we go. So this is the, um, so here we are. This is what it's going to look like in the desktop newsfeed, right? This is what it's going to look like on mobile. So again, it's, it pops. It's got contrast. It gets the job done. It, see, now on phone, on a feature phone, I'm not sure what the difference between a feature phone and a mobile news feed is, but mobile means phone. So um, we've got desktop news feed. That's the nice big one. It matches perfectly to their um, specifications. And then we've got desktop right column. Then we've got your Instagram feed. Looks good. See how nice that looks? Um, and what this does is it keeps you from, you know, the number one mistake I see people make, like I did too, is, oops, not that, is we upload photos that don't fit the right parameter that, that, that they're asking for, right? So if it was this right here, 1200 by 628, you know, and we accidentally uploaded, you know, 400 by 400 and we don't resize the photo, it's going to look like crap, right? And I know a lot of people out there say, oh, just, you know, go to Fiverr, ha you know, pay somebody else to do it. But, you know, not everybody um, is in a position to go spend money on, you know, Fiverr. And, you know, yes, it may only cost you $5 to get an ad done, but you have to spend time finding the person that you trust. You might have to burn through two or three different designers. You might have to, um, you know, maybe it costs them $10 to hurry it up and turn it around and then another $5 for the tip. So by the time you're done, you've lost four or five hours of your time and, you know, 30 or $40 when it could have been something you could have done in under 20 minutes, which is a little bit of thought and, you know, just kind of work through it yourself. And that's why I like choices. I like, as an entrepreneur, I like to have, re you know, choices of resources, you know, and, uh, things that we can different way, different things to pick from now what's cool too is that the next time i log in um so this is can so i'm going back to my canva my home base over here okay every time i save something and i download it it keeps it in memory right and these are all photos that i've messed around with doctored used in a social media campaign i make my thumbnails for youtube I run some other people's digital marketing. Um, so you'll see a lot of different kinds of stuff in here. Um, everything. So, and this is, you know, every, all sorts of different things. Um, here's one I made. Uh, five clever ways to prep vegetarian meals in under 10 minutes. Did that completely on Canva. I created, and I, I'll do that later in a different video. But the, I wrote and helped someone write an ebook. Uh, my dad has a Shih Tzu page. So... Uh, for the posts on his page, we were adding borders, you know, borders just look so sharp, you know, when you add them to any kind of photo, it just makes them pop. This is a campaign I did for um, this gentleman who was selling vehicles down in California. Um, he was, I made this banner for him and brought in pictures of his previous customers. And the, these are real quotes from them. It, luckily, he already had the testimonies, so we were able to put those together. And I did it all in Canva. I brought in, you know, roasting times chart. You know, we found something on Pinterest. We repurposed it with a new background. Put that here. Um, hey, guys, be sure to join our clean eating group on Facebook. So I went out and found this picture of the vegetables and was able to make this an Instagram post and post it out there. So when people saw that on Instagram, they were able to click on the link. Um but there's ways to not be spammy with that. Um, you know, there's my cat being funny. He was messing around. Um, so just, just kind of like a basic um, tutorial. Now let's try a different size for, for everyone. Now, let's see. One of the best um, sizes out there for Facebook is 800 by 800. If you're just going to do a post in your timeline and you just want to, like if you're taking a selfie or something like that, most of these photos come out to be, you know, 400 or 800 by 800. Now, let's say you don't want to go to, to Pixabay and you just want to do something cute and fun and quick. You can come in here and you can search your photos. So let's say you're going back to, um, let's just say I'll put woman. Now, this is going to give me both free and paid options. And what they do is they charge $1 per graphic 
Um, and if you buy 10 of them, you get one for free. So you, it's like a buy 11 for the price of 10. So now this is a very interesting photo. Um, I'm not sure. Normally, I would, I would expect that to be, they would charge for that. I'm not sure why that's free, but that's pretty cool. Um, but again, the same technique, right? So, and actually, I just use this. I just use this lady in a different ad for something else I was working on. Uh, so let me show you what I did with her. So the first thing you want to do is maybe not first. I always start with the background. So you can pick out one of these funky backgrounds over here and find the texture you like first and then come click on it over here and then change the color. So you can always change the color of the funky background. So it's pretty cool. So you got um, maybe maybe it's this. Let's try yellow. It pops out with the black. And then you could say, um, let's say I'm going to run a webinar or something and, I'll, and I'm going to add a heading and I'm going to do it right over here, right? So I'm going to just go ahead. I, 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 so if you, if you didn't see what I did, I clicked on text. It brought over the button. And right here, I'm going to, I'm going to edit the text if it lets me. And I'm going to say, um, be sure to join. Oops, be sure to join our secret. Oops, can't spell. Be sure to join our secret Facebook group. Um, for smart um, business owners. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to move this up right here like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, maybe put some arrows. Let's see, there's this one. And what you can do is you can rotate it downward, downward facing. And then make it smaller like this, like that, and make it black. And then you can copy it. So you have, I clicked it two or three times, right? So you, it just it draws your eye downward and like there's assuming there's a link in the description down below, right? And, and like I always say, maybe slap a border on it. Um, now the difference between a, on the border here, if you do line, if you do decide just to do line right here, you could do a solid line, um, but there is only one of them, and so you you still have to duplicate your efforts. So you could do it. You could put it like that, and then you have to say copy, 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 right? So there's because there's three other borders. Um, there's one, and then here's the second one. Bring this over here like this. And there's a fourth one right here. I'm going to rotate it. There you go. Be sure to join our secret Facebook group for smart business owners, like down below, right? And then I would download PNG. And now let me show you what it looks like. Now this one we're going to post inside of my group um, on Online Sales Funnel Academy. I'll show you what that looks like on my page. Let's say, remember this was the 800 by 800. So let's say I'm doing a photo. I'm going to add the photo. There it is. Um, there's no products for me to tag. Um, be sure to join us later on today for this um, great free training. Oops, free training. Um, click here to register. And then I would have my URL right here. And I would say post. Okay, I'm gonna view my post. Okay, where'd it go? Posts. Oh, and it posted, put me on there as a person. Okay, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna delete, I forget. I have to log into my business manager before I do this. 
go to business manager first. Okay, now I'm going to go to post. Okay, right here, and then we're going to add the photo. Boom. Same thing. Be sure to join us. Us today. Oop. For the free Facebook training. Click here to register. Right, and then the link, and then you go publish. Then if I want to see what it looks like when I come back to my home, you can click back on home and we've got posts. Come on, there we go. Look how great that looks. Be sure to join us today. And it, and as far as Facebook goes, I mean, it just pops out in your timeline. Be sure to join us. For, I mean, if you saw that, you would be like, oh, what's this? You would totally click on that, right? I know I would. So these are just some of the ways that you can make your images pop out. Um, I will be doing some more trainings on other, other kinds of Canva stuff in the future. Um, I hope you enjoyed this training. I hope, uh, let me know if you have any questions, if I can figure out where we, where we were at. Hold on. Let's see, there we go, there we go. So let me know if you guys have any questions and drop a comment in the uh, links down below and I will get back to you. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.